Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna see how to set up Namble from scratch and we're gonna see how to connect your first channel, how to import your listings from this first channel into your Namble account, then how to connect your second channel and how to list in bulk your products to this second channel to keep everything in sync. So follow me, we're gonna show it from within my laptop exactly as if I were you in your Nemble account. Let's go. All right, we're here on my Nemble account. If it's the first time you connect to it, you'll see the 14 day free trial. Otherwise, you'll see a welcome back. You just complete your login with uh, your login name and password. And here we are into a Preston new Nemble account where you have the products tab, which is empty because we haven't created nor imported any products and the channels tab which is empty. So the goal here is to connect a channel and import listings from this channel into Namble to later share these listings onto multiple channels. And we have accomplished task number one of like multiple channel listing. Let's see, connect channels. You go into the channels tab where I am now. You click on the plus button. You get to a list of channels. Let's say I'm a Shopify user. I want to connect Shopify and uh, you have to type your Shopify store name and uh, click connect. It's not the URL, it's just the Shopify name. Here we are, we're back in Namble and the channel is connected. So at this point we have for Shopify three main blocks of settings, the publish settings, the import settings and the orders settings. Today here we want to get products out of Shopify, import them into Nimble. So I focus on the import from Shopify settings and I want to take all statuses. Yes, why not? And uh, I can choose what collections. So we go back in the products tab and we want to import products, extract listings, products from your Shopify and get them into Nimble. I click import import from channels, I select Shopify and I click import from channel. You can see it's just a matter of seconds and uh, you can see products in with their picture, the title and uh, a little status, their SKU code, the quantity, if they have the variance, the price to the public and the channel they are currently published into, which is for now Shopify and the date of the last, uh, last update. So right now we want to complete the video today and get a couple of these products and list them on another channel. So first things first, I need to visit channels and connect a second channel because otherwise I have nowhere to list them. So I click plus again and I pick Etsy and Etsy will uh, either be logged in in the same browser, which may be the case, as you can see here, I'm logged in or otherwise it's going to ask for your Etsy login name and password. Here we are, we're back in Nimble. Etsy is connected right now to Nimble. You can see it's, uh, it has the same status as Shopify has. And uh, now we wanna publish. So what can we do here? First of all, we have the listing status and Etsy charges listing fees. So most of the times, especially at the beginning, you wanna select draft. So you wanna do not list as active but list as draft. So you make sure everything is according to your needs. Everything is going in the, the right place. Then there's, you know, Etsy requirements. They are a market for makers and therefore they want you to be the maker of your goods. You can either say that you did whatever you want to list, or if it's another company or, or person that did this product, you may want to be sure that uh, when you get to what it is, you flag that it's a tool, right? Category, we advise to select automatic. Automatic makes use of our artificial intelligence, which reads the titles of your items and or the content of the category field in Nimble and just lists the product in the correct Etsy category. Shop section, if you have any, and a few other things we're gonna dig into later on in another video. Right now, we have the basic settings, so we can go back to products and uh, flag a couple of these products. There it is, publish to 
Etsy and publish two products. Little notice up there, bulk publish started and uh, we just, well, that was very, very fast. We have the two first products, they moved on and you can see there is the two icon Shopify and Etsy. This means that the product comes from Shopify and was listed to Etsy. We can click on it and uh, we can see the product is active and it's even on channels. We can click on the channels. We can see it's, it was imported from uh, Shopify and listed to Etsy and we could even look at it by clicking view listing on channels but it's a draft so it's not going to be there of course we can visit the back end and uh, we can see that our products is in among our listings within the draft but we have plenty of products here what else we've seen the basic which is extracting products from a channel first we log the channel extract products log another channel and list products this is like the basic use of nimble like listing from a channel to another now the two products we've listed are connected through nimble so their inventory is synced if you get a sale in one channel the inventory stock count is going to go down into the other channel from the other channel thanks to nimble you can set nimble to do a few other things such as price rules and even having central edit for titles and descriptions and this will be subject of another video for now, you are all set to go and start using Nimble. Give it a try and tell us what you think down in the comments of this video or otherwise in the in-app chat, which is the red button. You can click and chat with us with our support any, anytime you want. We reply during European business hours. We sleep at night, sometimes, not always. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Cheers.